Sometimes I feel like throw my hands up in the air. I know I can count on you. I'd like to welcome you to the Working People's Parliament. You got the law, I need to see me through. Today, a three day ACTU Gabfest kicked off. They say our day is over. They say our day is the rule. The gathering comes amid tough times for the movement. In 1992, 43% of male workers and 35% of women were union members. Today, those numbers have fallen to just 18%. Not quite forever for the HSU, recently booted out of the Union of Unions, just before Craig Thompson was booted out of the Labor Party. How badly has the HSU scandal damaged the union movement? Oh, I think um, certainly a lot of the publicity and the attention it's received uh, isn't good for the movement. Time after time, I think, oh Lord, what's the use? Time after time, I think it's just no good. I'm angry and you all should be angry too. Like all of us, I have been deeply disturbed by the allegations emanating from the HSU East branch. The only person who will try to get through the conference without mentioning the Health Services Union, without mentioning Craig Thompson, is in fact the Prime Minister herself. I know it distresses you the way that it distresses me. Ultimately, uh, it has derailed and uh, got off message the good work that Australian unions have been doing in this country for 150 years. We are talking about the alleged bad behaviour of a number of officials in one branch of one union. I will not let the smear be transferred across all unionists because we know that isn't true. Those members have been let down. That disgusts me, and I know that it disgusts you too. She says she's disgusted by Craig Thompson's behaviour, but she's not too disgusted to keep relying on his vote. Do you think that the Labor government would have dealt with Craig Thompson differently if it wasn't a minority government? Well, blind Freddie could tell you that. If Craig Thompson voted um, with you to carry no confidence in the government and force an election, would you accept his vote? <laughs> well, it would be a moment of clarity for Mr Thompson that it would be very hard to refuse. Politics is not a pretty business, and that's always been true. The new ACTU boss has asked former federal court judge Rod Madwick to lead a review of corporate governance. The responsibility to protect our members rests with all of us. If you're here to rip off workers, get out and we're coming after you. We should ensure that we stiffen our spine and we get on with the work that working Australians want us to do. If this happens again, it will be our fault. It is not the twilight, it is still the sunrise. Solidarity forever. Oh.